Hey everyone, how's it doing? Welcome to another video here at Smiling Stan, and we are going to be looking at Dragon Ball Super Chapter 77 of the manga, Bardock the Father of Goku. Now before we start off on this, just want to say sorry for not being active this last week or so. I've just been, you know, caught up with life and everything, and you know, just lost that little bit of motivation. So, yeah, and um, I also just wanted to, you know, send my thoughts and prayers to Christopher as family and friends and loved ones and you know and I, I know I'm a bit late to the news but like you know I knew about it but I just didn't know what to say or if I should have said anything in like any videos but yeah he was a lovely man and a very wonderful freezer alrighty guys so we're gonna go on with this so um, we're, we're just gonna do a bit of a recap of the chapter and then, you know, I might share my thoughts throughout the process. And yeah, we'll, we'll do our normal thing. Okay. So it, it starts off with a flashback 40 years ago with Planet Serial. And it has Manito, the Namekian, that is with um, Granola. Anyway, so it has him interacting with all the, um, the Ceruleans from like 41 years ago or so. And it's like, yeah, you know. We Namekians got on well with the Ceruleans living in peace and helping each other out as good neighbours. <clears throat> but then one day, you know, when it was a full moon, they looked up and they saw all these freezer spaceships and then all these Saiyan space pods like crashed into the gardens and like, they're just like, what the hell is going on here? And then all of a sudden, all these great apes appear, all the freezer soldiers appear and, you know, many Namekians and Ceruleans, you know, they, oh, the, the, the friggin' invasion just went off without a hitch. And, um, you know, um, Manito was given the two Dragon Balls, like, on Planet Serial from, um, who I assume to be the, um, the Grand Elder of that, that, um, tribe of Namekians. And then he was the last Namekian left on the planet. And then the Ceruleans were just getting killed and massacred by all the um the sands and the great apes and then you got bardock swinging on a tower and he sees little granola running running towards that 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 church kind of looking building and then so granola goes i mean bardock goes great ape bardock goes after granola and then we see through the roof hole of granola and granola's mama and granola gets so petrified he passes out in his mother's arms and, you know, then we got a close-up shot of Bardock, great ape Bardock, and then, and then, um, there's these Ceruleans communicating, it's like, aim for the moon, you got that, you got it, and then, um, you know, um, this, this, oh, Flake, Flake, I think that's how you say his name, he shoots for the moon, um, he hits one of the great apes, like, skins his head, kind of thing, like, the blast goes past his head, and then um he, and then the moon gets destroyed. All the great apes revert back into their Saiyan forms. It's like yeah we got him. But then the you know the Saiyan is like yeah I wouldn't be too sure. Sorry pal, but we're plenty strong even without our great ape forms. And um he kind of looks like the guy from um the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie where um at the start we get to see the Saiyans in the past, and um he he's pretty much the guy that Bardock goes shut up to. So. Yeah, and then, you know, that's the end of that, Cerulean. And then, come on, let's, let's get, um, we okay? Oh, it's like, and he's like, come on, like, come on, Leek. And so now we know how Leek gets his scar. And then, meanwhile at the church, you got Granola's mom holding Granola. And then we see Bardock. Bardock is standing there looking glorious, amazing. And then she shoots, um, Granola's mum shoots at Bardock, like, um, and knocks off one of the shoulder pads, like the armor thing. And then we go into Bardock's flashback, and it's like, oh, yeah, of course you missed his birth. And we got Gine, Goku's mother, going, do you have any idea how many months you've been gone? And then Bardock's like, oh, that explains why your tummy's flat again. And she's like, I swear, do same men have anything resembling emotions and then we see little little rabbits playing out the front of the house 
and then um she's like little guys in the incubator back there can you can oh think you can help me pick a name and then bardock sees um goku for the first time in the little incubator and he's and he's just staring he's like oh and she's like what's wrong haven't you seen a baby before and then Ka- uh, bardock's like hmm he's like kakarot we'll call him kakarot and then Gine's like kakarot that's a fine name and then and then bardock i think i think and then bardock's looking he's like Tch. and then leek's like bardock sir but his vision's impaired by the building so he, Leek doesn't know that Bardock's there, um, that Granola's mum's there as well. And it's like, Bardock, sir, we're looking for you. The mission's done, and we have our orders to pull out. <sighs> and then Bardock's like, is that so? And he's like, you head home without me, Leek. I'm sticking around to check for survivors. And, she, and then Leek's like, all right, very well, sir, but try to be quick about it. Word is, Freeze will be here soon. And then Bardock's like, all right, good to know, whatever. <clears throat> and then he puts his scouter on. And then he's like, these two are the last of them. And then deep in the mountains, a power level of five. Just an animal, maybe? And then, oh, yeah. So Bardock pretty much sensed um, um, a night. A night. Oh, the Namek- the um, Namekian's power level. And so he goes there. Monato tries to attack Bardock. Bardock blocks the, the stick thing. He's like, a Namekian. It's like your power level jumped to 213. Guess you can control it, which explains how you managed to keep hidden. <coughs> and then, um, and you know, um, Manito sees the, um, uh, uh, kid Granola and Granola's mom. And then he's like, Ceruleans, I didn't dare to hope for survivors. And her name is Mwez, Mwez, uh, Mwez, I'm just going to call her Granola's mom. And she's like, and this is my boy Granola. And it's like, can we please, can we, can we please take shelter here for now? And then Monito's like, of course you can. <clears throat> He's like, my name is Monito. They're introducing each other. And then Bardock's like, look guys, Freezer is coming soon. Keep hidden and off his radar. And then Monito's like, aren't you saying what is your plan? He's like, Bardock's just like, I just felt like an Zol. And he's like, all right, I better be off. You guys survive as long as you can. And then Monito's like, wait, what's your name? And he's like, Bardock. And then we go back to the present day. And then Granola's like, that means I'm only alive thanks to that Saiyan's mercy. And then Monito's like, yep. And he's like, I'm I'm so sorry to keep that from you, Granola. And then and then Monito looks over to Goku and he's like, mate, you were the spitting image of that fella. And Goku's like, huh, me? And he's like, yeah, of course you. Any any of you can go by the name Bardock? And then Goku's like, oh, I have no idea. I've been right... I, I don't know much about the Saiyans. I've been raised on planet Earth by Grandpa Gohan. Vegeta's like, Kakarot, Bardock was none other than your father. And then Goku's like, my father? Really? And then Goku's looking shocked. Granola's looking shocked. But Naito's like, what a twist of fate. You're the man's son then. And then Granola's like, looking like, this is the son of the one who saved me. And then um, we move on to the next page here. And it's like, Goku's like, I wish I knew a darn thing about my dad, but I can't say that I do. And then Vegeta is like, in any case, your soft-hearted nature clearly runs in the family, but he's just assuming that because, yeah, you know, apparently a lot of people were upset by that line, but, you know, Vegeta's just making a hypothesis, you know, he's just assuming, he's making an assumption. And then Granola's like, hang on, but what about my mother? How come my mother didn't survive? And then Granola, ah, Manata's like, well, you see... And then we go back into the flashback. My nurse is like, wait up, Bardock. Let me see that arm of yours. Oh, and he heals, he heals Bardock's arm. And then Bardock's like, wow, I never knew Namekians could do this. And then my nurse is like, takes me all I've got to heal up a little scratch, though. And then Bardock picks someone up on the scouter. And then we see the heaters. And Bardock's like, the freaking heaters. And then, um, you know, Manato's like, oh, who are they? And then Bardock's like, they act as inter- intermedi- intermediaries for the planets that Freezer has conquered. Simply put, they're brokers. Yeah, they're brokers. He's like, guess they've set their sights on this planet. And then Manato's like, treating our planet like something to be sold. And Bardock's like, mm, dot, dot, dot. 
and then, you know, the haters are just going, yep, yep, we're going to get easy money, yep, yep, you know, they're having a discussion, and whatnot, and then, Granola wakes up, and he's like, mommy, oh, wait, um, Granola's mom comes out to have a look what's going on, and then, Granola comes out, and sees Bardock's tail, he's like, I say it, and then, you know, um, Minato knocks Granola out, gently, uh, and then, Bardock's like, that's stupid, why do you have to shout like that, and then, the haters, um, the haters, the haters' attention is now on Granola and Bardock and them, so, well, just as they're heading over, Bardock's like, give me a robe, quick, Minato, and then they come over and they see Bardock with the cloak on, and, you know, who might you be? I was just, and then Bardock's like, I was just about to slaughter these survivors, I spotted, and then, he was like, ah, one of Freezer's men, get on with it then, it's like, well, having second thoughts, and Bardock's like, actually, the Namekian just used some strange power, maybe it's worth checking out before killing him, and then, all of a sudden, Granola's mum is shot, dead, and, Bardock gets absolutely pissed and attacks the haters but then they all make a break for it and yeah Granola's mum is dead and the haters are preparing for a meeting with Fraser now and then we go back to the present day back to the haters and you know they're preparing to get they've got Dragon Ball number one now they're preparing to get Dragon Ball number two and yeah, and then we're just left to be continued, and the next chapter doesn't come out until October twentieth, twenty twenty one. Wait, what? Oh no, that's the co- that's when the chapter came out. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Um, I don't know. The chapter will come out next month in November. Alrighty, guys. Well, I've enjoyed this chapter. It was really cool to see the flashback and see Bardock, um, getting some shine and interacting with like, and and also Granola's past as a child. It's really cool to see that. That kind of backsto- backstory, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Did you guys enjoy it? Leave a comment down below if you did. And yeah, well, guys, this has been SSJ Uncle Punch, aka Smiling Sam, signing off. Have a good gu- have a good one, guys. And as of this recording, it is Halloween, so happy Halloween to all my followers who celebrate. Halloween. I'm waiting for it to get to 13 minutes so I can end it on 13. That's a very Halloween number. Okay. Bye, guys. Ooh.